My ancestors sure knew how to decorate. Nothing but big piles of gold. Ooh, wow. And hey, I I uh, say hello to the Cooper Vault. The very last area in the game, as I've mentioned before. This place was started by Slight and Common the Second. He built his fortune in the employ of the great pharaohs. That must have been around 1300 BC. And throughout the Cooper Vault, you can actually learn a bit about the history of the Cooper family. To learn about uh, particular an ancestry on uh, certain uh, certain people, just go up to the picture frame and push the circle button. And try not to fail at your platforming here. And there is actually a challenge which you uh, have to do in order to actually complete this game 100%. And this particular challenge, you have to go through the Cooper Vault entirely from beginning to end within a certain amount of time. And let me tell you, that is not an easy task to do. Sir Gallop of the Knights of the Cooper Order. Honorable Knight and Cunning Thief. Okay, not very much information there, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Eh, it is actually pretty interesting to learn to learn about Sly's history and his ancestry. And just it's fun to learn sometimes, especially when it's something that is actually really interesting. And also, when you're proceeding through the family vault. Certain uh, obstacles will actually be introduced to you based on that family's heritage or, you know, their place of origin. You pretty much get the point. Like the Pharaoh guy, he had like uh, some ancient technology or whatever the hell it is, some barrels, and the, that, the knight, he had uh, these things. Now let's move on to this guy, which is over here. Looks like he's from freaking Aladdin. Awesome! I love Aladdin. That's actually one of my most favorite movies of all time, believe it or not. It probably is my favorite movie of all time. Just a little fun fact for you. Salim Al Kapar of Arabia. It was said that he had the stealth of 40 thieves. <laughs> stealth of 40 thieves. Speaking of which, I have actually seen all three of the Disney Aladdin movies, and, well, obviously I like the original the best. I mean, that's a given with any movie franchise, especially when it comes to Disney. And, well, my second favorite would have to be Aladdin and the King of Thieves, or something like that. I don't exactly remember what it was. Eh, it's pretty similar to what I just said. Return of Jafar wasn't that good, in my opinion. I mean, it was alright. It was pretty good for what it was, but still, eh, it could have been better. Again, that's just my opinion. And, as for 40 Thieves, I really enjoyed that movie as well. Sure, not as good as the original, same with pretty much any movie <laughs> that has uh, actually had like a sequential release, etc. Etc. Kind of like um, Shrek, Shrek, Shrek 2, Shrek the Third, and then Shrek Final Chapter, or Forever After, whatever. You pretty much get the point of that. The strongest of the Cooper clan, Slay McCooper, could break any lock with a single blow. And again, not very interesting information, but nonetheless, it's there for your amusement. And in this particular area, we have to deal with freaking uh, boulders and axes and just other caveman-like technology that pretty much is involved with the Cooper Vault. Freaking awesome, huh? As we're making our way through our ancestry and learning so many bloody things, it is just amazing what you can learn. I mean, it's as amazing as what soup can do. Seriously, it just makes an ugly looking soup taste so delicious. <laughs> uh, and to tell the truth, I really do not mean that because I don't eat soup at all. I mean, I eat like spaghetti, spaghettios. But other than that, I really don't eat much of anything as far as soups go. But nonetheless, just thought I'd bring that up. I, I'm just not a soup eater. I really am not. 
is next. Hello, more ancient writing, and it is apparently Chinese. The Ninja Spire Landing was perfected in feudal Japan by Ryoichi Cooper. Or Japanese, whatever. It is Japanese. Sorry for the confusion, but whatever. Anyways, to make our way through here, we just uh, have to jump on these uh, jump on these swords as we are making our way through. And once the sword sparks, that means that the sword is going to be placed away, and that is when you need to make your move. Oh shoot! Somehow the button didn't register, and I fell again like an idiot. Let's actually wait a couple seconds before proceeding, and okay, let's try this once again. I wonder, do I have to start over again if I die? I really, really do not want to find out. Also, along the way, you can actually score quite a bit of money just making your run through the Cooper Vault, so I guess this is another place where you can, uh, whoa, hello, somehow I didn't make it all the way over, but whatever, at least now, at least now I'm actually safe for now. And. As I was going to say, this is actually a pretty good place to farm coins if you happen to run low on coins or whatever, but I still prefer to do the pirate ship thing with Dead Men Tell No Tales from the last episode. So, yeah. Pirating is more fun and actually a lot more profitable, so just keep this in mind too. Henriette One Eye Cooper sailed the seas and stole from pirates. Guess I really take after her. Hmm. Interesting. And I had no idea we actually had a female Cooper in the family. Anyways, in this particular part of the area, we need to get under these barrels while these evil freaking uh, laser grids or whatever the hell they are, while they're making their way through, we obviously just gotta make our way to these things, get underneath, and keep going until... We don't get fried, and just until we reach the end. Simple as that. Not more money, because I like stealing money from my own family. <laughs> Not really. But still, it's a Sly Cooper game, and no one gives a damn. Except for Carmelita. And, hello, Wild Wild West. I've actually seen that movie in, like, the early 90s. I actually thought it was pretty good. However, in recent years, I haven't really seen it, so I can't really say if my opinion still stands or not. I don't really know. And I have completely recovered my health. So, yay me! I've recovered all the health that I've lost thus far. More bottle smashing, more money stealing. Oh my god. You can, you can seriously get quite a bit of money from here. I'm undead serious. Tennessee Kid Cooper learned to slide along railroad tracks in the Old West. And again, not exactly all that interesting, but nonetheless, we are going to continue making our way through. And this is pretty much like before, just uh, sliding on the tracks, just uh... <sighs> it's very simple to actually make your way through here. I really do not see how you can fail this section so easily. But no, 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 I don't know. Anyways, in this particular part, you obviously want to keep changing from, keep jumping from rope to rope, and just keep doing this until you reach the top, and there you go. And that's pretty much the way this Koopa family rolls. And we are going to proceed on more to the next area, which involves some really rich-ass SMB, who's kind of like Scrooge McDuck, except he doesn't have a pool of coins and he can't exactly dive into it. <laughs> I wonder, has anyone tried to do that in real life? Try to dive into a, a, a giant safe of coins, whether it be quarters or nickels, dimes. I seriously wonder, is there a view of that? There probably is, I don't know. But I don't think, uh, I don't think you can actually, you know, dive into it, because I actually seen a Family Guy skin when, uh, when Peter actually 
dove into a bunch of coins and then he got seriously hurt because of it. Victorian era London was the stomping grounds for the most gentlemanly thief, Thaddeus Winslow Cooper. I wasn't really paying attention to that, but it seemed pretty interesting, but whatever, who really cares? Let's proceed. And in order to actually proceed onward, you do have to actually learn about your ancestry in order to continue. As I have already mentioned, why did I repeat myself again? I don't know. God, I have such a bad tendency to repeat myself. Serious, it's just that bloody bad. Now for more evil hammers and death. Oh man, this is not going to be fun. For this particular bar, we have to make our way up these hammers. And obviously, let's not get crushed like that. Obviously, jumping too early will just it, it'll result in you getting crushed. If you jump too late, then the hammer will swing, and I think you will be thrown off. So, just thought I'd bring that up right now. And, there we are. We're already in the next particular. The next part of the family vault. And I'm not going to risk those two points, because they are not worth it. And I got my health back! Yay! And I'm robbing more of the Cooper family. Awesome! Besides being a thief, Otto von Cooper was a great fighter ace and mechanic. Yeah, very interesting. Because we kind of reenacted all of the family's ancestry throughout all three of the Sly Cooper games thus far. I'm not sure about Thieves of Time because I have not played that game yet. And I have no idea when it's supposed to come out. When it does, I am definitely going to be getting that game. I just don't know when it, when it is supposed to come out. And as far as Let's Plays go, I probably will do a Let's Play of the game, but not until after I actually complete the game myself first. At least the main game. And it probably won't be until like a couple of months down the road anyway upon the game's release. And... Alrighty, we are now at the very last part of the vault. And... Oddly enough, it's our father's! So that's pretty interesting. This must be my father's work. How am I supposed to get through this thing? He made this challenge for a move I've never learned. There's nothing like this in the Thievius Raccoonus. Come on, Dad. Help me out here. Seriously? What the hell am I supposed to do? How the hell am I supposed to get across there? I mean, it's glowing blue, which is kind of odd. That means that it's kind of glidable. And I also find it interesting that the... Uh, you know, we still can't see Sly's dad's face. <laughs> kind of sucks, but... Eh. Wait. Eh, video Is game logic, thieving? I guess. Thieving opportunity? you got to be kidding me. If you actually stand here long enough, you'll actually get some additional dialogue, so... Just thought I'd bring that up right now, and I guess I'll stand here until I get all the dialogue I need. So, what is next? Uh... I mean, it is a thieving opportunity. I get it, I can slide on the laser beams. Dad, you old rascal. And we pretty much are now able to slide on freaking lasers. Even though we were able to do it in the first place, and I just chose to stand around. Also, you cannot walk on laser beams, but you sure as hell can slide on which I find incredibly odd. How can you slide on nice laser work, beams? Dad. Seriously, how the hell does this work? I question video game logic because it's fun. And there we go. We are now. We have now completed the Cooper Vault and let us now sanctum. proceed inside. Mr. Bentley and Murray were here for this. We are now proceeding onwards to the inner sanctum of the Cooper Vault, and our job is now complete, and we are now ready for the next part.